Okay, on a Kate Kind or Ella, current fault with Michelle Fagan of the RIAI, uh, who will speak just on the process of the colloquium so far. Thank you. Um, just want to say, first off, that uh, Kilkenny County Council and Kilkenny Borough Council uh, are to be commended, uh, as is Joe Crockett as the City and County Manager, for wanting to take uh, the long term view of, Kil of Kilkenny City and to ensure that any new development brings the maximum advantage to the city. Um, ident the identity of Kilkenny City is, is very strong based on its historical significance. It's also economically significant uh, with in the country, possibly even more so uh, now with the promise of the success in, in agri-foods uh, and, and the hope that that brings to the rest of us as a nation. Um, Kilkenny City contributes probably uh, disproportionately to the character of Ireland um, it is a huge destination for visitors uh, from home and abroad and to be frank the wrong type of development could dissipate uh, that buildings not only address our needs but uh, they also reflect how we see ourselves and, and how, we, how we think of ourselves and um, who we think we are. This design review process is, is an internationally recognised uh, is an internationally recognised process and uh, it's a kind of, a, I suppose, a brainstorming uh, uh, process that's performed by um, independent, uh, very importantly, independent and uh, impartial panel of experts in the built environment. The aim of the design review is to ensure that the needs of the users and the community are identified and met. Um, the, the process here in Kilkenny involved identifying a diverse range of independent experts from various perspectives, architects, um, uh, and I would say most importantly, uh, archaeology and conservation experts, property, economics uh, and engineering to name but a few. Um, the panel met late last year uh, and were given a, a briefing about the site uh, which involved a tour of the site and presentation about the background and history of it and, and the background and history of the city. Um, a discussion was held and, uh, and a report was made. The next stage took place in February and I had the, the honour of, of chairing that session um, and it, 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 was, it, was, it, was, it was 18, the 18 members of the panel uh, brought their conclusions uh, and thoughts about the site uh, into a, a, a made a presentation to, to each other basically uh, and to uh, the county manager. Um, it, was a, it was a very interesting day, it was full of, of um, great ideas and, and many, many light bulb moments. Um, the, uh, although the process is not really about achieving necessarily consensus, uh, there were some common themes um, as well as, as interesting approaches. Um, there was a concern for many that the urban structure of the city uh, would be understood and acknowledged in any future approach to the site and the city. And in particular, the link between the cathedral and the castle, the lanes, the long Burbage plots, and the importance of the banks of the river, river in, in not only linking space, but also as, as a destination. Um, and it's common in, in, in Irish cities and towns that, that they turn their backs on the river. So, you know, it's, it's normal. <laughs> uh, there was also an encouragement to go deeper into the understanding of the site in terms of the geography, the geology, history, culture and urban development. And in particular, the recent history of the brewery structures. Um, the brewery structures could be seen as a modern archaeology, it was suggested. They're, they're, a, very big, they're, they're, they're a big resource of, of material. Um, and the use and reuse of it should be fully utilised. They're embedded and they're embedded energy recognised. The question was, should they be erased? Perhaps reuse and adaptation would be appropriate in this era of, era of scarce, scarce resources. There was also the acknowledgement of the traffic in Kilkenny. Um, you know, cars are necessary in the city, and although we'd like to deny them, they are actually necessary, certainly in a, in a city with a big hinterland like Kilkenny. And how can they be dealt with in a realistic way? People do love their cars, they do like to drive around the city and, you know, um, and, and that was sort of acknowledged in the process. There was also suggestions for uses um, from the village model to create excitement and variety to a dense mix urban, a dense mixed use uh, development uh, to the possibility of an educational institution and how that could be fed by a creative quarter. Um, any suge and, and suggestions of how it might all happen, given that there is no rush or pressure at present to build something, which is a really good position to be in. There was a suggestion that perhaps a futures lab, uh, which would be uh, take the form of a temporary structure, could be erected on the site 
people of different uh, disciplines would work together there in situ and evolve some approaches through direct involvement with the community and interested parties and sort of making things happen there on the spot. Um, this sort of a development of that idea or, or a parallel to that idea was the, the an idea that we could allow temporary functions to set up and see what would take, so to speak, uh, to kind of put down a structure, wait and see what happens, um, what the results would uh, what results would happen organically. The design review process is is an innovative opportunity to look at how we develop our towns. Um, in the past, um, our development has been driven by uh, by single single drivers. You know, um, a, a supermarket or a factory or a business would come in, identify a site, and uh, and and push to develop it there, and kind of polarizing the debate. You're either for it or you're against it. This uh, design review is, is non-directive, it's inclusive, it is integrated into the community. Um, the, the results of it will be a, a full understanding of the potential of the site, a full up understanding by everybody of the opportunities. Um, so that when, say for example, it does happen that a single driver does come in, at least that driver can be directed um, uh, in a way that where their profit will benefit, will also profit the, the community. Um, it's a, it's a, a holistic, it's a, a very holistic process uh, with the wide range, ranges of backgrounds and expertise being the most important thing. And, and also, I suppose, to stress the importance of having a design review at the earliest possible moment, as soon as you know there's an opportunity to start the process. Um, the other thing to stress in these times is that it's, a, it's an extremely cost-effective uh, uh, process in terms of money and also uh, time, more, most importantly. Um, and as Martin Coluvia has already highlighted, it is a goal of the government policy and our, one of, the ex of our excellent policy of, uh, on architecture. Um, it's an excellent process that will reap benefits and uh, should be used for important sites in Ireland. Uh, we hope to get the opportunity to work with other local authorities and, uh, and uh, people who have large important sites in the future. Um, it's, it's best practice. Um, in this time of economic restraints, the most sustainable approach uh, is to put the right building in the right place in the first place. And uh, we, we, uh, if we are going to do something, we should do it once and do it right. Thank you. <laughs>